Hello and welcome everybody out there in Twitch and D&D land. I hope you're all having a very fantastic day. Hope everybody's taking care of themselves, checking up on themselves, making sure everything's going smoothly. If you are watching this on the YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of that helps us out so very, very much. It also helps you to make sure that we can keep providing this fantastic content for you and allows you to uh, never miss what's going to be happening. If you're watching us live, then you should definitely hit that follow button or maybe even the subscription. Who knows? You might have a Twitch Prime subscription available to you. Um, and if you're interested in joining any of our pay to play games or just joining our community to hang out and learn about deep lore of this living universe that we all play inside of. Uh, please consider joining our Patreon. Links to all of that is in the description or bio. Everyone. I need Vire and um, Xander. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Xander Hamilton, yep. Yeah, Xander. Um, I need Vire and Xander. Uh, both to roll me survival checks. That's wisdom? Yep. So. Got her. Uh, I expected it from Vera. I did not expect that from Xander. Because I missed last week, so the rolls are bad this week today. So, as you all begin walking through the streets, moving around safely, quietly, Vire is starting to move you through a different alley, and uh, all of you watch as an individual um, adorned in nondescript armor uh, runs past you all, and immediately four javelins just get launched and stick into their back, knocking them and pinning them against the wall. They look over at all of you, immediately making eye contact and just mouth run. <laughs> Which direction were they coming from? The, uh, they the just way? ran across your path from an okay. alleyway. So not the way we're, okay. Yeah, which means you need to go not that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Start running. All right. Now you can't rely on your familiars because they're not really helpful yep. in this. Um, I need someone else to give me survival check on foot. Two people can participate at a time. I'll, I'll do the other one though. Uh, North already did it. 15. Oh, I, sorry. I didn't. Uh, yep. Fine. It's cool. Gabe, you uh, <clears throat> begin moving forward and uh, North actually stops you and like, no, this way. We can't change and pulls you back and all of you pull back run down a separate alley and begin moving through it um hearing the sounds of clashing battles happening not very far away from you um the plumes of smoke are becoming larger figures in the sky taking up the larger section of your peripheral inside of this region and you do hear that battle is up ahead of you what would you all do If we get caught in a fight and we like, if we get caught in a fight, that's gonna be bad. We we can't. Vire, right or left? Um, forward. There's no forward for you right now. There's 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 no forward, bud. What? Where are you? And then it goes trying to find you. <laughs> well, I mean, he would know because I can. Well, yes, well. except for the fact that they lost track of you, and there's a lot of things happening. It's yeah. it's it's no longer useful. Now you guys have to navigate yourselves. Okay, I don't think we have time to think this out. Right is right. Yep. Kothar, Kothar staying in the back of the group. Okay. No, no sticking point. So you all we, just run out there, moving to the right. Run. Yeah, going to the right. We okay. have no time. To we just have to get out of here quick. All right. More time uh, to think. What happens? As you're moving over towards the right, all of you with a passive higher than ten, so eleven and up. I believe that's everybody. Nolth, no. Not Nolth. Everyone aside from Nolth uh, recognizes um, these individuals adorned in this dark soot-colored armor that looks a little flaky against them 
are clashing and battling with this menagerie of different individuals, these very different wide-spanning crafts of fighters, warriors, and soldiers. Kothar, you recognize the, uh, the very vibrant and diverse group of soldiers are the Slayer's Guild people, the ones who work here. And they're in a full-fledged combat right now. <clears throat> Any chance I recognize, um, what did you say? Ash cover or ash color? Soot, armor. a soot, dark soot. soot color that looks like it's ashing off of them. Um, roll me a religion. So let me get this straight one more time. Uh, we're not supposed to fight these guys. We do. We don't want to mess with time, and I don't. I don't know how it works exactly, but stuff will change. What do you mean, mess with time? It is a divine sense. For now, we just try not to get involved in anything around us. I'll, I'll explain later. Gabe, you smell undead near you. Our battles will be in the future. Um, Fulcrum, <laughs> these people, the ones with those armor, they are the Relentless Dead March. They belong <sighs> to a place not of this world. They must have come through here somehow. And they are just individuals that die, turn to ash, the ash reforms, and they keep fighting. So what are they called? The the relentless, relentless dead march. Dead march. Yeah. <clears throat> the ones in the suit colored armor are the relentless dead march. We definitely need to stay away from them. They're not supposed to be here. Doesn't sound good. We're not supposed to be here. Well. Us. Yeah, oh yeah, go with the flow. Go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The flow. Yep. Um, and the flow needs to go a different direction than so. that way. So. Not purify them. Let's get away from them. So, as you're moving past uh, Fulcrum N, uh, you do notice that there's an individual who leaps off the side of a griffin and begins cracking a whip, and as they do so, lightning begins arcing every direction inside of the middle of the march. Um, Kothar, roll me a uh, history. Fourteen. She is your sister, Luster. Awakened during this timeline, though you have only been awakened with her once before um she is relentless she is one of the quickest people in the entire champions but you don't remember what happens to her at this point she is channeling her thorn whip side which is the creation of Irene. Uh, it doesn't see the point of yelling this out when we're not trying to draw attention, so okay. I might mention it later, but yeah. So, you all keep running past as quickly as you can. Um, I need another round of survivals. Two individuals, please. I'll do it again. Okay. North coming in clutch? You all follow after him as you move between some of the buildings, uh, even breaking into them, and as you do, you do see that most of the inhabitants of this town are already dead, being slaughtered in this area. You run through a couple of windows, breaking as little things as you can, and as you march even further, um, you start noticing that there's a more open path the closer towards the castle, or the tower, and there's a different path over towards the uh, southeastern mountains through the farmlands, but that area has a lot of smoke pluming from it right now. Which of the two paths do you wish to take? There's smoke coming from one. Yep. And what's on the other? Uh, you're heading towards the tower. I think we need to go towards the smoke, towards the mountains. So we'll get out of here. Yeah, quickly we can get to like the forest and the mountains, the better. More quick, easier we can disappear. 
I say we head towards the And if anything, we can use the smoke to hide, so I agree. All right. Now, you all deviate and start running through the open landscape. After a couple of minutes of running in this direction, weaving and bobbing out of the way of certain people, even with all of you being displayed as best as you are, once in a while, one of the Slayer's Guild individual will run past you and go, hey, the fight's that way, and they just keep running. Seeing most of your group looks adept to combat. Minus one. Yes. Well, two, <laughs> Fulcrum, Fulcrum doesn't look like he's ready for a fight. Fulcrum's incredibly unassuming. That's <laughs> six, almost. Yep. Um, and as you all move past, you hear this earth-shattering scream. It's a high pitch that just moves through the entire area. And when you look back, you see this draconic figure with a long hooked neck, mostly black across the scales with a red uh, razor sharp looking uh, gill going down its chin and half of its neck as it lands up against the tower and exhales into it. You watch as this large plume of what at first you think is smoke but all of you with passives 15 or higher discern as necrotic breath breathing into the tower, flooding it all throughout it. Nasty breath in that tower. That's no normal dinosaur. Actually, Dinosaurs look like chompers in that. Nature check, Baron. <laughs> I should probably have that, by the way. But yeah, anyway. Nature? <laughs> you didn't take it. Um, <laughs> um, that looks familiar to something else you have back at home. Um, they're called Shadow Dracon. Though you've only seen little ones. That's a lot bigger. Right. And by a, a lot, I mean dragon. two size categories more. Yes, yeah, so we don't want to get near by any means, and stay away from that what looks like smoke in it. Right. So uh, that's, a, that's a big one. I mean, I've seen them something like it before, but they were smaller, you know. Hmm. Like, like we need to we... run. Still run. Run. Right, Tell right. me about it. We, let's talk about it later. So you all keep talk. running. Now you're entering into the farmlands to the south section of this area. And as you are moving through, you see all of the homes, all of the crops, everything is on fire. Sections of the roads have sizzling bodies lying on the ground. Some of which even have people trying to move. But still not in a condition that you can easily see. And as you move through this field, you do... Begin inhaling some of the smoke. I need you all to give me con saves. Kothar, you have advantage, and you have advantage. Sweet. <laughs> Kothar, roll a Wait, second con time. con saves. I'm sorry. I did yeah. a con check. Uh, Kothar, roll again. You add advantage. There we go. Yes, yeah, sir. As you're running through, Nolf begins hacking aggressively and slowing down a lot. Um, being taller than everybody, he breathes in a large section of it. Uh, Nolf, you are going to suffer seven points of fire damage. And you're having difficulty breathing. You all keep pushing? Let's keep going. <laughs> Ready. I need another cool. round. Here's your, here's your sack of air. <laughs> I would like another round of con saves, please. Yeah. This time, Fulcrum, uh, you did laugh a little bit when he mentioned that. Just sack as a word. And unfortunately, you breathe in a little bit of this soot as well. And it, it begins 
crisping into your lungs and even as you hack it up just the intake of breath brings more in and it's becoming a lot more difficult to maintain if you didn't have to run through here you could easily hold your breath but unfortunately you are going to suffer nine points of fire damage now you made it about halfway through this open field and those of um, you managing actually yeah um while we're doing this can i um i'm gonna cast cure wounds on fulcrum yeah. and that will be a verbal component which will mean that you breathe in air um and then i'm going to use my uh tempestuous magic to cause whirling gust of elemental air around us to try and oh. clear some of the smoke. So, as N reaches out towards Fulcrum, uh, utters a couple of words and breathes in the smoke, you are going to suffer the fire damage initially. You are going to suffer eight points of fire damage. And immediately after that filters in half because tiefling, um, you all watch a large poof of wind encirculates and envelops and and pushes a large section of this smoke away, giving you all one chance to take in a deep breath before it begins filtering back in. Okay. Is that a Come once on. per long rest thing? Okay then. Didn't, didn't say so, so I have to cast a spell beforehand, but- A leveled spell, correct? Yes, a leveled spell. I did. Still pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. You all... And I can fly with it, so... <laughs> Do you want to fly I'm right not... now? I'm not going to. I'm just going to use the wind. Okay. So, for the next trek, I would like con saves, but this time everybody has advantage because you just got a fresh breath of air into you. Nope. Never mind. All of you are good. You hold your breath much more tightly and you feel that tension in your lungs as you're just... Your body aches to breathe, but all of you are fighting through that, commanding your body to maintain itself while you are moving through this thick, heavy smoke. Towards the tail end of this area, all of you breach outwards to an area that you can begin breathing, catching your breath, and as you look around... There appears to be more of those, those of the march that seem to be wading their way through the farms, burning them and going after all of the farmers and citizens. Noth, at this point, I require you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Yep, I understand. Um, we'll probably need to give an one of those two uh nine and out of advantage you can choose to maintain yourself in this instance if you would like and Noth, however his entire bane is what these things are well and thing is looking out for like the normal people if you would like to then you may 11 and you manage to focus on what's important but Everyone else sees Nolf puts on his mask and begins moving towards them. Uh, let's get him. Abominations. Nolf, what are you... Gabriel, stop him. Gabe grabs him. I need an opposed athletics. Nope. I'm going through this. No. Nah. Oh, dead tie. You both managed to push and shove against each other, both of you trying to be an immovable force and an, an unbreakable wall, but you just keep clashing into each other as you are snapping, Nolf. I cast friends on Nolf. Okay. Means you have advantage on persuasion checks. That's all it does. Charm person is the one that would help in this. Uh, well, then, uh, do charm person. Okay. North wisdom save. Yeah. Nope. He fails. Come on, bud. We've, we've got 
got other work to do. We're gonna save more people with this with this other work, okay? That's... There are abominations nearby. I I know, but we're gonna go take care of a, a bigger one. There's nothing we can do here. Come on, we'll we'll get through this. I promise, and we're gonna be doing better on the other end. If they come within spear distance, I'm spearing them. That that's fine. That's fine. But we can't go after them purposefully, okay? Let's we got we got to keep moving. So, Fulcrum, as they're having this conversation, you do take note of uh, one of those of the march have deviated from the crops and has begun moving towards everyone else. We've got incoming. Let's keep moving. It's <clears throat> just staring at him. You're charmed by N. You listen to N. Uh, yeah, I am listening, but yeah. I'm walking, but he's just staring with the spear. Come on, come on, come on. Let's keep moving. And N is, you know, got him by the hand and is lead him on. So. Those follow us. You all begin moving out over into the thick forestation of this area. Immediately as you enter into the forest, you all feel strange. There's no animals anywhere. Fulcrum, usually you can sense a rabbit or a fox in a hole, but right now there's nothing nearby. And, the birds <clears throat> do and, you all... Um... And to be inside of an empty forest is one of the most eerie sensations any of you have ever experienced. Do you all not feel that? I feel something. It's not something wrong with this place. It's not mm. normal. But nothing's normal right now. The animals are gone. Nothing's. Um, yeah. No, I think the birds are talking. Today is not normal. It's not calm at all. I agree with you on that. <laughs> right, so what are we doing? We need to get them farther away. But I don't I don't even know what these woods are. We if I look at a tree, are we still heading south yeah. east or whatever direction? Uh, you are still heading in that proper direction. Okay. But it's just... It's eerie. In fact, Fulcrum, as you look back to where that one of the march was moving, they don't enter into the forest. Well, good news and bad. Um, they're no longer chasing us. That's something. What? Well, so no we've way. lost we've lost one worry, but now we have another of what could be in this to cause them not to come in here. That would be probably the proper conclusion. Stay Rob. on your guard then. But I would suggest potentially if they're fearful of that, we should also pay that sort of respect. Mm -hmm. So don't attack anything immediately. Gabe. I'm not going to. Okay, I just know you draw your sword when, like, anything shows. I just don't want you to do that if, like, something shows. Well, yeah. big-ass thing drops out of the sky uh, onto our, in the middle of us, yeah. Hey, I'm not what? a big-ass thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a teeny uh, big thing. I, I'll snap very out and snap him back in. To where I am. Uh, Vera is coughing hysterically. Come here, bud. It's okay. Oh, oh, I don't like that place. I think I have the most. Right. I don't think anyone does. What were you saying, North? Oh. Is it better? Yeah. Uh, out of everyone here, I probably have the most experience in the woods. I'll try to take point. Right. And, uh, Gabe, sweetheart, um, if there is something that comes up, just 
hold off on drawing the sword right away. You're quick. I've seen you pull it out. You're not. Oh, <laughs> is phrasing oh, still a thing? Is it? Are, yeah. are we still doing that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. Well, I've spent a few <laughs> days or nights in the in the woods myself, you know. Right. So but... anyone but me, really. So, uh, is there enough room to go two by two? Like oh, it's a forest, two? yeah. The, you can all stand side by side if you wanted to. I think, like, two by two or three by three is probably... Who wants to be up front with me? Should we be going quietly? I'll go with you, uh, Green Man. Do you really want to come up front with me? I trust myself to lead us, not to if I miss something in the woods, though. So I can have you... Bro? That. Um, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll I'll go in front with with uh with you, honey. I'll, I'll do in the it. middle. I'll stay within. I'll stay in the back. I'll stay slowly in front of you. So if anything comes out, hit me first. In is in is like huddled behind all the meat shields. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna trust you to spot anything. I'll trust. I'll try to lead us. All right. Hmm. So, you all begin moving through the forest. How careful are you all being? Stealth. Go ahead and roll your stealth then. And I think we can actually go three, one, two. If you would like, sure. Using my advantage. You can can go six in a line if you want. It's cool. Yeah, but but Baron, Fulcrum, and and Nolth up front, and and then Gabe and Kothar in the back. Uh, Baron, you have disadvantage, don't you? Uh, yep. Heavy armor. Sorry, stealth. Uh, Yep. Gabe as well. Mm-hmm. So I turn off advantage. 13. Oof. It is awful quiet in here, so it's going to be hard to move stealthy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Gabe does oh, well, some the of the thing, best. So. <laughs> yeah. Gabe, you're second best at stealthy right now behind Nolf. Just so you can gloat about it later. You all begin moving, but every twig, every shuffle of the grass and the leaves that have fallen every movement is producing at least a little noise and the fact that this forest is so empty it's hard to uh imagine if there's something in here they're unaware of no as you're all moving forward up in the front i need north and baron to give me uh the survival check or one of you survivals and the other perceptions. Oh, oh, I was up in the front too. Oh, three in the front. Okay, you go ahead as yeah. well then. I think it's just Kothar in the back. Kothar, I thought it was uh, Kothar and Gabe. I didn't know because I know Gabe wanted to be right next to N. So. Oh, okay. So Kothar. So we're going three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, we can do yeah. that. No, Fulcrum said it was going to be with me to be my eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. It's three yeah. in the front. Okay. Uh, perception. Is that what you said? Yes. Nolth, you're making good progress. Uh, finding your way through here. Stacked up like bowling pins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you all walk through here. Noisily, unfortunately. Trying your best, but it's just not enough. You're more worried about getting to your destination than going someplace else. Or anything finding you. And as you are moving around, Kothar, you hear something. It stands out as you're the only person here who has heard this noise before. A whistle. Fucking run. I need athletics checks from everybody. So my recap inspiration. What in the fuck I'm is gonna, this inspiration? I'm gonna um what's that called? Chronal shift? Yeah. Who? Um I oh. I was thinking myself, but never mind, I just screwed it up more. It's 
Yeah. I, 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 I will sacrifice all my athletics if end falls or something I'm grabbing. If you had athletics to sacrifice right now. Yeah. yeah. No, I just meant the fact that like it makes sense why mine's a nine. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, as soon as he says that, Baron, where you come from, you don't joke when you use that phrase. You book it. And all of you watch this dwarf move faster than any dwarf any of you have seen before. Physically, I am like physically he has higher movement than most dwarves. Um, begins sliding, dashing underneath the individual trees, leaping over them, spinning around, and he's booking it full force. Gabe ends up trying to keep up a little bit, but the moment you see N is tripping up all over the place and Kothar is even stumbling a bit, both of them making the one mistake and looking behind themselves. You never look back. Gabe, it's your choice to keep your athletics going or to fall behind with them. Well, of course, stay within. Okay. Baron, you've gained a lot of distance between everybody else and yourself. Right. Wait a second. Nolth, where's yours? Oh, you're seven. Uh, I got seven. seven. Yeah. I'm with them. By the time oh. you, like, keep moving, you slow a little bit and you're like, Oh, shit, they must not have been that serious. But then you just, you know, instinct. <laughs> if there's something to cause you to run, run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then you hear um, the whistle again, Kotha. This time, just a little bit closer. I'm just going to pull out an old trick. Minor illusion, footsteps in just different directions. Different sounds, different ways, anything to get in way. Roll me a deception check, please. Fifteen? Okay. You start trying to distract whatever caused Kothar to move like this. Though, Kothar, you're the only person who's heard that noise so far. Though, you don't have time to realize that. Uh, it, I, as I'm like trying to run, just shouting out that it's Mr. M. That he's he's here. Like Mr. N is here. I, I can. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but he's here. Uh, well, let's keep running. We're in the right spot. Are you guys catching up or what? So you see, he's like halfway fast. up a hill right now. <laughs> <Really fast>. <laughs> <laughs> Right, All right, another round of athletics checks. Oh god. Here comes the next one. one. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Disappears over the side of the hill. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's like two nat twenties in a row. <laughs> Feats don't fail me now. <laughs> Just <laughs> Awesome. <sighs> <laughs> Welcome to Fridays. It's a mini game to make and snort. <laughs> no. Oh, there we went. <laughs> if, there, if there's anything Baron there can can say that he's probably shown the group is that he can move fast. <laughs> cool. That's basically it so far. <laughs> All right, now let's look at everybody else. Uh, let's do something. You already did. You did your minor illusion. <laughs> this is like an action sequence. Your action was minor illusion. Run. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, maybe next check. You all keep moving out further and further. By the time you all make it up the hill, you see Baron is like halfway to the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to breach out of the forest line. However, as he's moving across that area, Fulcrum, you notice something. A woman up in a tree just watching down on all of you tight black clothing short cape mostly a cloak to hide her arms her thigh her arm and her waist are lined with weapons though there is a little mask over her nose as she seems to be watching you all move by with our baby do you see that up there see her 
see I'll what kind of, I'll point my oh, head uh, at the I, tree. I, at the tree. I don't discreetly look. I don't, I, I'm not discreetly. I'm looking up. I'm not discreetly looking up. If <laughs> yeah. you look up, they don't look familiar to you, but they're certainly watching. I, I do. I still hear the whistling. You wait a few moments. Not yet. I'm going to tell everyone I can, we might be able to slow down. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It, it, am I still feeling weird? Like, is it like my head's feeling weird? Or like... I mean... Thinking about the fact that like the magic that he uses messes with people, like their minds. Why don't you roll me an intelligence save, Kothar? God. <laughs> Four... You still feel weird. Yep. <laughs> Just like shakes his head a bit. I don't. I don't. We, we should just. We gotta catch up with Baron. I don't know if we're gonna catch up with him. He's so <laughs> freaking fast. For his little legs, he can move. No. It's now, just... if you would like to do something, you may. They're dangerous in short distances. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, Nolf. If I'm taking in a head. You're what? Taking in a head. <laughs> You're taking you out and a head. Okay, that's not what I heard. Boring. I heard a hit and I'm taking like, oh, it in the head. <laughs> Let's go! Just Oh, you're teleporting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. It's basically this round two hundred feet, next round another two hundred feet. And uh Kothar just like not Kothar, North like scoops your arm, are you willing? You feel yeah. magic pulse from the two of you, and blink, blink. Uh, Baron, both of them are now in front of you. Oh, well, that's cheating. <laughs> By the time you get that out, you've already passed them. <laughs> All right. Knees to chest. Just knees, knees to chest. <laughs> <laughs> it only comes as one. <laughs> yeah. Was it you that I had the race with to the top of the stairs on Sunday? At the... We got back. Uh, with Mary? I'm just curious. Yeah, I didn't marry yeah. any. Yeah. Kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was me, but it was also someone else, I think. Yeah. Jimmy? Yeah, quite remember. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. No? Yeah. Maybe. Nobody anyway. else would have tried doing it. Okay, should we should we talk to that person? I don't even know who they are. Kothar, um, you hear the whistle again. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really tired of running, honestly, Fulcrum. <laughs> I'm getting, like, tired of running. I'm not really tired. I'm just getting tired of running. Uh, what was your last athletics check? Yeah, you're not tired. <laughs> There's a message um, in Fulcrum said, we gotta, we gotta do, you gotta catch up. Let's keep going. Let's, um, if we're supposed we're to talk to her, she'll show up again. I'm just saying, if if it's him, we're not getting away. Well, it's... Maybe they'll get tired and we can catch up. I don't know. There's a message in Kothar's head. Come on, Kothar, we've gotta go. Let's start running. You feel the heat rising in that new scar across your face. Mm -hmm. Baron, you make it over to the mountain, but now you're very confused because this is not a scalable mountain unless you had mountain climbing gear, which I don't think you have mountain climbing gear. Because where you come from, there's not a whole lot of mountains. At all. This pile of rocks is really uh, steep. <laughs> what? What are we going to do? <laughs> and in North, you... <sighs> Think. I can teleport us up there. Do you want to? Uh, we gotta think about everyone else too. I can't teleport all of them. I got one more blank. Are we going to the top of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> There's more of that white powder stuff on top of it too. <sighs> What is that? Snow. We gotta we gotta go around. No not everyone can go up. It's, and it's gonna be slow. So as everybody else is I running. I say we stand and fight. Is 
sorry. statement. Yeah, what totally. You no, yeah, Aren't yeah, you yeah. happy you could join this group? Yep. Everyone else finally catches up to you, just... <sighs> what? As I, after I catch up to him, I'm going to turn and then face the way... Yeah, Kothar is... Kothar, if, like, we're, like, against a wall, Kothar is, like, standing at the edge, like, of the wood line, like, axe out. That woman is still watching all of you. Same as so is Gabe. And you see from behind one of the trees a um a short person walks out in similar looking gear as hers and clearly points up to her as she just keeps watching you all. Any recognition of anything about them that I recognize or that I... <sighs> Roll me a history. DC on this is over 30. All right. In my case, little guidance. Sure. Okay. That's a good start. That four. Nat 20. 20. Oh, so close. Oh. So close. You feel like you should know something, but you just don't. They just. There's definitely a um an aura about them that makes you a little hesitant. And that's not something you typically are for. You're Relax, but you know what you're doing. They make you a bit more careful when you look at them. And the individual just stops squatting on the tree branch and sits on it. They're a good four or five hundred feet away from you all in the forest. And they're fully aware that you're looking directly at them. They're just not reacting. Right. Who is has, that? And what are we doing? Uh, side note: Has the has the whistling stopped? Ceased? It only happened to you three times thus far. Okay. It hasn't continued. I, it's not a persistent it. whistle. It just happens periodically. Okay. To you. All right. Um, Anna's holding wave and is on high alert. Should we attempt to climb? If we do it, we leave the last two people here. I can teleport me and someone else, like me and Kothar, up 200 feet if we want. I'm not leaving anyone. I don't think climbing is good. It would split us up and leave us vulnerable. The real like question them. is, are they with him or not? I don't know. I feel like I should Kothar. know who they are. but Yeah. You hear in your mind? With who? Vishkana. <laughs> what do you want with them? Is that why you're awake? Yes. Well then, I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you get to meet him. Have you met him? Oh yes. And do you work for him? <laughs> I wouldn't be dumb enough to oppose him. trying to oppose him currently. Oh? I didn't know any of you knew that he'd be awake. Hmm. Well then. I suppose under direct orders I'm supposed to let you pass. Direct orders from who? 
Take care of yourself, Kotha. The individual oh. leans oh. off the branch, and they look like they fall back, but you never see them fall. Uh, uh... Yeah, none of you heard. You didn't hear that, did you? Okay. Heard any of you? Heard the what? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, they know a lot, whoever those were in the trees. There are people in the trees? They hostile? Oh, no, yes. they're not. Currently. We can deal with that later. We... Uh, no, let's just not deal with it at all. Or if all. So, how do you know they knew a lot? I don't know which one was talking to me, but one of them was in my head like what N can do hmm yes they knew the name Bishkana interesting and they were surprised that we knew he was a they were awake so guys what's the plan for whoever is in the woods comes to mm. us what's the plan I don't think that they, they said we were supposed to, they were given orders to let us through <sighs> and then Bye. they knew my name so, <clears throat> one thing we know is things didn't go in the woods, and now it appears things are not leaving the woods. Yeah. Well, so the next thing is, I know folk when we say go with the flow, but I wasn't awake at this time. I never went through the woods at this time. Do you, Doug, for information? I, I understand. I understand. Like, yes, now. Like, it's hurting my head. Yes, now I went through the woods at this time. Right, but... right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So what exactly is going on here? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you take commands it's really you, well. You were running, running really fast, Baron, and maybe it's just the lack of oxygen. I don't know how did, I don't even know how you moved that quickly. Um, let's, really. let's, find a place, <laughs> let's find a place to hunker down yeah. and, and hide. Hide? Don't we have to get there and, like... I don't even know. We have to figure out what Seven time of day it is, right? Or what year it is. Yeah, we'll hopefully figure out tonight where we are. Yeah. So let's find a spot, get ourselves together, take some time to figure out even when we are, much less, I mean, and then we can figure out from there. Fulcrum, would you mind rolling me a history check? It's just about yeah. there. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I need to be for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to enjoy these moments. However, you do remember when you crossed over this area last time, and you remember what the sections of mountains look like where it had that hidden passage into them. You being the person who's traveled that path, well, physically, at least a few times. Mentally, a few hundred times. You remember the area that you can go to that would get you out of this place. Into the mountains themselves. Okay. And which, where, where, where had it been? A uh, little bit more southwest along the uh, mountain line. You can get there in probably 15 minutes or so. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, this is good. This is good. Uh, let's go this way. I think we have about 15 minutes to get there. Pharaoh, take us 15 minutes to get there. So let's say whatever. Shall we? Yeah. Kothar is going to be watching the woods for a while, like looking back at it now and then as they're like heading towards falling. And better on we'll go into more detail tonight and I'll try to explain. All right, well, <sighs> uh, I guess I'll just follow along then. But I'd like to know a sort of like something. Do you guys want to tell him along the way? 
Yeah, let's tell him on the way. Let's sure. give him like the footnotes, Fulcrum. Um, sure. Um, Ender, do you want to try to recap? Okay. Um, so this is my understanding of it. I'm, if I think if Fulcrum gets into it, it's going to be like itty bitty details of it. My understanding. Um, we had to go back in time um, from what our normal time period was um, so that we could take care of something that happened in the past and we could interact with someone that we only knew existed at this particular point in this particular place so that we can uh, defeat the demigod in our normal time. Um, because this thing is pure evil and destruction and we found out that when it was created another person was created that's his opposite and his opposite we know is a halfling that exists in this time period and is gonna die in a battle and we need to talk to him without changing a lot because if we do we could fuck up our chance to kill this demigod in the future. We're tr basically traveling uh, down a small river, trying not to disturb anything along the way. Right, I see what you're getting at. Do yeah. you, as a player, understand what they're saying? More or less? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I, yeah. There's some people who don't under, like, they can't get a grasp on time shit. Um, then in that oh, case, yeah. Baron <laughs> totally understands. All right. It's like we're in a so, river, and we were at one point so, here. We went further north. Right. Yeah, I get it. But so that's what you did earlier, then. Uh, yes, exactly. I was trying to dial into the correct place to right. get into got the good you area code. Like, I first go and like get into like a portal or something. Well, yeah, I mean it's kind of like that, but it's to uh, to get to a certain point in the river, and then. You know, we can get out. Um, sometimes I. There are many rivers that are similar, and occasionally we can end up in the wrong one. But right, yeah, well, eventualities and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, similar to the cycle thing you were talking about, cycle of life and death, and yet it's a bunch of little circles making a line. Yeah, and the whole idea that we're here for is to try and get in and out with as little change as possible um, with as little effect on anything as possible um, because for one the the it, it could be that our existence relies on that um you know, a chance meeting between my parents, for instance, could not happen because of something we do here. So we're trying yeah, to right. keep it. Not creating any, uh, what was it called? Paradoxes. That. Just going with the flow. Right. Just yeah. Going with the flow. So, right. <sighs> it, it's, um, well, you get used to it. I don't know how all of that goes through his head and he like keeps chill. I I have no idea. To cut you off for a couple of seconds. Anonymous, thank you so very much for the 5,000 bits. Really do appreciate you, man. Really nice of you. Thank you. And thank you for the NPC. Continue. Did you say that in game or that was out? Uh, was that we're like out of game? Yeah, no, I was <laughs> thanking the person. Uh, yeah, no, I was talking to N. Oh, I oh, apologize. About, yeah, about getting in and out without the paradoxes. Yeah, yeah, in, in game. All right. Well, it's like, uh, you know, I've been, I've been around a bit. I've, so I've heard a couple of different theories and all that. Okay, that's helpful because this is all completely fucking new to me. Right, well, it's, uh, 
Yeah, I can see why it's a bit difficult to wrap your head around this first. You need some time to like sort of adjust to it. Yeah, and generally we don't. If we come across people on where we're at now, we generally don't tell them anything. We don't mention time or any of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> we yeah, because I you tried on. that yeah. track and it didn't work. No, it's best not to. But since you came with us from another plane, it's best to warn you that we, like we did, you're you're fine. We're, you understand that. We're good. Yeah. Butterfly effect. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just wondering if it's like, because I, I have no idea how I ended up on your uh, dinner table or what you call it. Oh, you were supposed to. Well, yeah, but... At least this time. Well, I don't really believe in fate and all that. Well, it's more of... Hmm, you were supposed to this time, but you don't always? Yeah, but... It's... I don't get it either. Elf just has, like, a sad look on his face. Like It's okay. There are times that you will, and that you did. Yep. Oh, my people, and, uh, well, we're kind of not that bothered about, like, time and all that yeah. stuff. Anyway. I, I'm really not either. Just, it's all fine. These guys keep bringing it up, so. I <laughs> right, yep. Shall we keep moving? Yeah, but I'm loving Anne's expression. <laughs> just... And Anne has to look up at everyone, so it's like... <laughs> well, uh, not Berendar. <laughs> He's probably a bit shorter than Yeah, uh, and then it's like... <laughs> All right. Oh, God, I think that, that hurts. Mm. And if you want to try my trick, I just don't think on it. At all. I might try that. I need to learn how to, like, pull memories I'm out. I'm picturing what must be going through Malt's mind most of the time. Like a little <laughs> cartoon like. <laughs> it's just Frank with a top hat. Just. <laughs> <laughs> hello, my ladies. Hello, my yeah. <laughs> So uh -huh. what we're trying to do is uh, facilitate an eventuality that'll let you potentially defeat your foe sometime in the future. Yes, but not in this time, but this time we need to get the information to get that for later, so we're trying not to mess with here right, too much. Yeah. Here. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's for the next river All journey. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I thought you said the next ripper journey, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something about Fulcrum? <laughs> nope, it's I'm all there. How this would, I'm wondering how it will affect me because I'm not sort of from here. Interesting. Well, we'll have to keep notes and find out. This would be perfect. This would be fantastic. Right. What would be fantastic is to just be unconscious for a little bit. That would be great. Well, I can help you with that. I'll pick up my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll almost accept yeah, it at this uh, point. <laughs> yeah, Gabe gets defensive and kind of moves between them. Because uh, I'm Gabe's... starting to get a headache from all this. <laughs> Gabe, sweetheart, we're almost there. We just should be just around this corner, if I remember right. And as you walk around the corner, you all look at a completely solid stone surface that looks the same to everyone else except Fulcrum just walks through it. Did I just walk? Right. Uh, uh, I just walk behind him. And just kind of <laughs> like... Next just... Face first. How did he know this was... <laughs> I just stopped questioning you. Uh, are the woods still out there? The woods? Yeah, there's still woods. The wood, well, the wood line that we came out of. Oh, it's a good uh, several hundred feet away from you at this point. Uh, You've walked along the mountain's ridge. 
outside it just of takes it. like one long look before he goes in last. When Ian tries to walk through, Gabe grabs her shoulder and their um, their shoulder and walks through in ahead of her, keeping her behind. Them. Them behind. Yep. You all pass through one by one. It would suck to like this is in real life. I would be like the person to walk into like sideways, like half whole, half <laughs> and stumble all the way in. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so I do that off of door jams all the time. Me too. Yeah. There's just one part of the cave that kind of is a little more circular a bit. And kind of low hanging so when it's above six foot <laughs> we're being kind of short comes in is it dark in here um it is dim light inside of this area okay. um there is little bits of algae that glow slightly all around you as you begin walking through um it's a very soothing location for many of you and and Gabe and Nolth, it takes you a moment to gain re-familiarity with this. This was the tunnel you walked out of when you met Tiffany. Oh. And it'll have um, light up in case anyone doesn't have dark vision. Yeah. Uh, Baron, for the first time in your life, you couldn't see for a second. Ooh. And then the light emanates from N's hand, and now you start seeing again. Hmm. Interesting. So this is... This becomes Fendrick's temple, doesn't it? Yeah, we just need to go up here, rest for the night, and then, uh, Good like we told Tiffany, we'd have breakfast with them tomorrow. As you're walking through... <laughs> <laughs> Really? Get out! Really? Get out! Really? <laughs> no. No. Leave. Bye. <laughs> I completely missed that. <laughs> Tiffany? We're going, we're going to have a tip. Tiffany's. Uh, I said yeah. what I oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> you said what you said, and we're very disappointed in you. He <laughs> said lyrics. Yeah. Now, uh, DMCA, look at that. Uh, <laughs> according to a certain thing. idiot, I should uh, go have a uh, a federal prison sentence for that. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> New levels of stupidity. Anyways. You all begin walking through, and uh, after a dozen or so feet, you all hear a... Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, can you... Can, stop. Stop. Tiffany? What? No. What? No. Does that sound like Tiffany? No, it does not. Anymore. Tiffany sounded very incredibly androgynous. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I remember. I remember now. Hello, Who's Tiffany? everybody. I have no fucking idea who Tiffany is. You all see a, um, a Durgar walk out? Uh, so, what, what are y'all doing in, in, in the mountain? I'll passing say through. We are just walking through and trying to get um, to the other side. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Alright. Uh, you all need some help with it? Sure. Sure, sure. Might I'll help you through. What are your names? Can I, can I roll an insight on it? Sure. Or, uh... Is that what you call this thing? Mountain? Oh, nope. Yeah, it seems I, great. Helpful. I, it, actually, they're hard to read. Chronal That's shift. the answer you get. Oh, yeah. Let me um, chronal shift that. Thank <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> little bird on the shoulder. <laughs> Thank you. That was that was Piper. Yeah, that, you hear all those birds it. chirping? Jesus. Mm -hmm. She, mm -hmm. that was Piper. Uh, 17. Um, the individual seems a little skittish with all of you. They don't seem to have ill intent towards you, but they were like, on guard and defensive. Uh, they even did reach for a fairly large hammer at their side, but they didn't seem to act with any amount of hostility. Uh, 
I'm not. In common. Huh? Uh, I'm North. My name. North. Good to meet yeah, you. North. Nice to meet you. You as well. Shakes your hand. Professor Fulcrum. Good to meet this you. This is Kothar. Good to meet you. Gabriel. Good to meet you. And. Good to and meet you. switches the light to the other hand, and then. Yep. Oh, okay. And Baron. <laughs> Baron. Uh, yeah, the, the... He immediately starts speaking Dwarvish towards you. Hey, how you doing, man? It's been a while oh, since I've seen one of well. the uh, one of the hills in here. <laughs> what, what do you mean? What? One of the folk from the hills. It's rare. Hills. Hey. I'm not from a hill. I'm from a bog. Oh. A marshy bog, or a boggy marsh, whatever. Right, you but you know, like where your people originally came from, hills. What you mean, the untethered? What? I'm not from any hills. What are you talking about? You're a fucking hill dwarf. <laughs> what a hill? I'm what was a dwarf? Um, yeah, nice he, hammer, by he the way. Gets, <laughs> he gets closer. <laughs> Are you in his, danger? His, <laughs> like, he's he's good. Um, his clan they. Uh, Wait, you understand Dwarvish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, continue. <laughs> his clan, um, <clears throat> yeah, Boggy Marsh Hill. It's better on he. It's the same thing. You're just talking past each other dialects and whatnot. What? No. Or, uh, no. Hey, um. What's hey. a dwarf? It's what <clears throat> I'll whisper to Brown in his language. Yeah. It is the name of what they call people that look like, that are similar to the two of you. Um, just go with it. Uh, remember that whole time thing uh, and whatnot. Uh, right. Yeah. But, but serious, man, are, are you okay? Are, are you safe? Did they, did they dwarf nap you? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I'm fine. Did, did they take it against your will? Well, something took me against my will. I just ended up on their dinner plate. Well, not quite like that. <laughs> that sounds a bit... <laughs> but I was just picking his teeth. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I ended up here, but... Uh, we're, we're trying to help him back get back home. So, all right, uh, all right. Oh. Well, yep. well, they're a good bunch. Uh, so, uh, oh, sorry, I uh, didn't introduce myself. Uh, I'm uh, Midge Hedgson. Good to meet you all. And then back in common. Nice to meet you, Midge. Um, shall we? Uh, yeah. Midge Hedgson? <clears throat> Midge Hedgson. 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 Good to meet you. Mm -hmm. Um, that's it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, what time of day was it when we came in? Uh, like at that point, that would have been like dusk. Okay. Um, yeah. do you mind if we take you know some time to regroup before we start moving through? Uh, I mean, yeah. What happened to you? You okay? There's there's a fight out there yeah. we we managed oh. to get through ah uh, shoot that's really unfortunate yeah i am yeah. getting kind of tired and hungry could use some food and uh yeah yeah uh, he reaches into his backpack and uh pulls out a handful of rations and like hands them over to you um very nicely wrapped uh hunks of jerky um all of which are salted and each one has a different flavor uh Anything fulcrum spicy uh, Fulcrum is actually receiving the uh, chipotle flavored one. Uh, Kothar, you're given the sriracha one. Uh, teriyaki goes to N. Sweet and sour goes to Nolf. I'll trade with N. Yep. Uh, extra salt goes to Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> extra salt with mayo. <laughs> no, no mayo. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Baron, he uh, he actually pulls out like a uh, a nice chunk of a um, some type of fruit bar that has this soft breading around it. That's actually really nice. There you go. Huh. What's this? Uh, we call it a fig. You see, we I um 
I smashed together. Food? Yeah, I smashed together a bunch of fruit, right? And then I uh, I puree it in a pan with a little bit of uh, liquids. It's an entire process. Uh, and then I bake it in that little crusting uh, softness. Uh, try it, try it. It's really good. Hmm. Right. Yeah, uh, before I've got a few, I pull out like a handful of still living worms as well. Uh, I suppose you will have some of these as well. When... Oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I can plant them with all the, all the other fruits. Yep, thank you. Oh. <laughs> You're a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> and I take a bite of the fig thing. <laughs> Give me a charisma saving throw, Baron. <laughs> this is the single most delicious thing you have ever experienced in your life. You didn't know taste buds were a thing. And now you have them. And the rest of the world seems so much more colorful and beautiful now and you'll see him just his entire form just sort of almost collapses in on itself and he's just <laughs> what is this uh, it, it's a fig it, it's beautiful <laughs> I'm picturing a little tear welling up in his... <laughs> I, think, I think he's experiencing things all at one time color I missed this my entire life and I didn't even know about it. Uh, w would you like me to make you a handful more about it? I mean, if you all need to rest, we can just head over to a uh, uh, place I'm squatted down in right now. Uh, sure. All right, come um, on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But around, when we get things settled out, <laughs> I'm going to take you on a trip that is going to change your life. Oh, I can't get better than this. Oh, I can. <laughs> just stuffing my face and just. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, um, make sure you don't eat more than one. Uh, it, it, it will. Um, there's a lot of caffeine that I put into it. Caffeine. Hey, right? yeah. I found out how to extract it. It's great. That's a beautiful thing. We need right. to chat. Right. Well, it's my right. recipe. He walks with you. I, 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 I don't need your money, and just keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> Some people value tradition more than they value money. And I can show you how to make worm gut stew if you want. Uh, no thanks. Uh, I think I know how, and I don't need to. Uh, yeah. Well, it's okay. So nutritious. All right. So he walks with you all for about. 5, 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, just making little bits of small talk with you all, you know, inquiring about, you know, like, how's your family? All of these, like, would be incredibly, like, personal questions, but to him, they just seem to be his version of small talk. Like, hey, how's everyone doing? Is everyone safe and happy at home? How about your kids? Oh, no kids? It's all right. You'll get around to it eventually. It's no problem. Or you won't. Who cares? I mean, you know. Everybody does their own thing. Hey, are you two a couple? Wow, you two would make a, such a pretty couple. No, you don't really have to do it. I can tell you're not really into him. It's fine. And so on and so forth. Who is that between? <laughs> you can infer. Um, <coughs> but he walks over into an open chamber. Um, that Fulcrum, Nolf, Gabe, and N all recognize again. Um... It's that chamber that when you came through here last time, uh, your guide had to ask special permission to walk through safely. And all of the huts and hovels were broken into and Fulcrum, you had that incredibly descriptive vision. And this entire area is ruined, sullied. The stains are here already. The, um, the bloodbath that occurred here happened before this event. As he walks through and goes, just uh, ignore all of the, uh, the little homes and such, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, not really sure. It, it, stuff happened here, obviously, but uh, it's a good enough place to squat for the time being. Yes. <clears throat> Oh. 
Yeah, I suppose. He brings you all over towards one of the uh, smaller homes that still has a working, functioning uh, stove in it. Large oven that he has been cooking out of. Um, right outside of it, you see that there is an array of plants, fruits, vegetables, all of which that are growing. Um, and you're not really sure how, but they are growing. There's no sunlight down here whatsoever. Beautiful garden you have there. Uh, thank you. I've been working on it for a couple of days. Days. Excellent. Excellent. I got myself the uh, the green thumb. <laughs> nice. Oh. I want to look into that. I heard, uh, don't let it fester. Gets bad. Oh, and it could fall off. Yep. Heard about that one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially when you play with it a few times. They told me, like, if you shake it around too many times, it might fall off. You know? Uh, you know, shake it more than three times. It's just. Yeah. It goes to your, uh, it goes to your heart and then it spreads and, uh, yeah. I've seen it happen. It's not good. Uh, well, come on in. Uh, Fulcrum, you do recognize this house as the one that you had that vivid vision in. Interesting. All right. uh, make yourselves comfortable. Uh, feel free to go to one of the other hovels and uh, bring over a chair if you need. Um, I'm just going to cook us up something light. Uh, Kothar's going to go grab a bunch. Yeah. Uh, how's garlic bread sound to you at all? Perfect. I still have a bit more uh, tomato sauce from last night. Uh, sorry, I ate all the lasagna. I'll That's eat right. whatever you can give me. <laughs> you got it, buddy. He pats you on the back. Baron has found <laughs> spiritual worship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we have to introduce him over to uh, Ares. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <sighs> so, uh, Kothar, you said you're walking out to go get a couple of chairs. Yeah, I'll go get chairs. Okay, I'll I'll go with him. Bring you, back a you, couple of them. Yeah. You you doing okay? Mm, just really messed with my head in there. I don't know why I kind of lost it, but the fact of confronting him here, I, I, I didn't seem safe, and thought of everyone getting slaughtered in that woods was not appealing to me. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get our chance at him soon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe too soon. May maybe, but <sighs> we're gonna have help. Here we didn't have help. Yeah, well, hopefully we're in the right time and we're not in the right place, but we're, we're putting a lot of, we're putting a lot on this chance of us finding it. And if we do even find the spot, finding the person and, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's a lot that is right on mm -hmm. all this. And then we have to get back at the right time. Yeah. So it's just, it's just a lot. Kothar is like, she just, not opening anything very gently right now. He's just really, there's a lot on his mind. And uh, he's just kind of like a bull in a china shop looking for things. Hey, hey, come here. And i will just do like, um, like pet the top of his crest, like real gently. Just like, it's okay. <sighs> We're going to get it figured out. And... We're, God, I hate the whole everything happens for a reason and you're here when you're supposed to be here. Like, that Fulcrum <laughs> does. Like, it... He's trying, drives to keep me... at... He's trying to keep everyone at peace. Right, and it drives me up a wall and does the opposite, but... It's good intentions. It's good intentions, yes, and at the same time... <sighs> Uh, it's hard to explain. He deals with these things on a common occurrence all the time, right? Like, I remember somebody was talking about that he, like, sees things, or that, like, yeah. time is a strange thing for him. So, like, his experiences are very different from yours and mine, so how he deals with them and wants to help us is different. 
Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. But my, my biggest thing then is... I just, I just gotta believe that what we're doing is the right thing. Whether it is or isn't, like, he's absolutely confident that it is. To me, I don't know where, where the fuck we are. I don't know when the fuck we are. I don't know any of that, but I just gotta know that, I just gotta at least act like what we're doing is doing something. We're just, we're just in the now, baby. And he <laughs> kind of grins and just like puts a chair on to end to carry. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. But and that just, is kinda the, la- just kinda laughs and just grabs another one. That is the only chair N is capable of carrying. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just I, I, one. I, 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 what's the chance that I can grab one that N can carry? Yeah. N is here for emotional support. Okay, I'll take the chair N... back and put it back on. <laughs> well, I can carry the one. You can't right? talk with your hands if they're full. And we all know you gesture with your hands and you talk. So. Just, yeah, true. Um, but we're it's gonna be all right and everything's gonna we're it's gonna work out and and you're gonna get your chance at him soon Mm -hmm. true oh i appreciate you coming out here to look after me. Hey, someone's got to keep an eye on you. Yeah. Well, I should probably, I really was hoping to find like a big couch thing that I could just lay on, but I think that there's only chairs here. There are beds made of stone with straw on top of them. I'm not going to try and carry that thing. In's going to grab but the straw. Could I, could I attempt to just grab one and bring it outside. Roll me in athletics. <laughs> I'm using my game inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this a statement. <laughs> Come on. Alrighty. 22. Back over to everyone else. Screech! Midge. Um, yeah? Midge, uh, hey. do you mind if uh, Gabriel helps you out? Gabe, sweetheart, why don't you um help him out and... Um... Oh, I'm perfectly fine. All of you just rest up a little bit, you know. Tend to your wounds. I'm I'm good. Uh, I was I'm just sorry. hoping you could share some <laughs> culinary Knowledge. expertise. Yes, 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 yes. He's a good cook. Uh, That's but fine. It's nice to always learn new things, right, Gabe, sweetheart? Gabe just kind of gives <laughs> Falcom a blank stare and. All right, well, whip it on out, boy. Let me see your spice rack. <laughs> <laughs> now Gabe rolls his eyes. Uh... What do you got? Come on. <clears throat> uh... hey. I'm fine, thank you. If you don't have oh, a spice... You, you got a spice rack? Let me see uh, it. Come on. Well, the components pouch. That's uh. Oh, oh that smells foul. He <laughs> hands it back to you. Don't cook with this. I'll uh, give it here. That sound. <coughs> no, no, no. Mm-mm. That's the stuff that would make you have the runs for the next two days. You don't want it. Oh, that's good for you know cleansing once in a while. <sighs> There's easier ways to do that. It's called coffee. <laughs> I'll have some of that. All right, no problem. Hey, uh, well, tell me, why aren't y'all uh, hanging out over at the Slayers? Uh, uh, helping them out. I mean, no offense, all of you look pretty, uh, pretty capable. Um, except the one that just walked away. Uh, N was the name. I mean, I don't want to be presumptuous, but uh. Looks like a swift wind could knock them over. Uh, they are strong in some ways and um, not so strong as you observed. So she way. has her benefits. They, they have her benefits. Hey. If 
we're not really helping the slayers because we have to go deal with things more down south. Uh, you got more important things to tend to right now. I understand. Yeah. Yep. That's why I, uh, I came on through here. <sighs> Hoping to uh, reconnect, you know? Hmm. You connected the Slayers? No. Um, Home, I believe. Hey, yeah. Uh, when I was a little lad, I uh, this was uh, my home. Yes, well, I'm glad that you're here to connect, and I'm sorry for, you know. Uh, not your fault, was it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so, well, with your insight, Fulcrum, here. that was a half joke, and he seemed incredibly threatening when he did it. Like, he was... There's a part of him that was hoping it was your fault. Right, right. <clears throat> what were we saying, Baron? So what exactly happened there? Uh, oh it's a long story. Um, More or less... Uh, the community that lived here, um, they made some bad dealings, and when it came time to pay up, they didn't want to, and uh, because of that, the uh, the Hells decided none of them were allowed to stay alive anymore. All right, so they scratched the back and got punched. Yes. A uh, little more than that. He points at the side of the oven where you see there is a huge cut that looks like a blade would fit perfectly through it and specks of dried blood painted all the way down it. Very old dried blood. It was right, a... Yeah. Uh, no one left alive. Well, who was here at least? Yeah. Uh, Midge, I have a... I'm just curious. I, I'm just made me curious. Um... Was this your house that you grew up in, or did you choose this one because it's more um, intact? Uh, not gonna lie to you, I was so young I can't really remember. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's pretty intact. The oven works. Well, that's good, yes. Yeah. And the garlic bread smells fabulous, by the way. Thanks. Uh, the key is to sit it in the fire and then above the fire. But yeah, I was hoping by coming through here I might learn what uh what happened to everybody. It's, you know, it's not a uh, it's not fun being the last one of your kind, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty more dwarves out there. Yeah, Gestures yeah. up around, but like <clears throat> not family. I look confused back in. What's that? That's that <laughs> word again. <laughs> Yeah, to be the last of your clan and kin is... Hey, it's sad. Yeah. Not fun. But hey, that's why, uh... That's why you just gotta rely on a good old Sunite, eh? <laughs> Around this point, you all hear a very... Wait, Knolth, were you saying something? Yeah, Knolth's saying Oh, I didn't hear you. Something. Oh, so Maybe. you didn't say something. Okay. Yeah, I did. Oh, what'd you say? I could help you try to get the information in regards for helping us. Yeah, you see, I can attempt it. But, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. I, of course, I, I'd love to know. It's not a guarantee, but uh, anything, I could... uh, anything. I just, uh, I could ask. Uh, I could read the stars and try to get some information off for you. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Put the mask and basically tell him to take my hand for a sec. Got it. Put it on. Takes it. <laughs> and let's see. Who's doing that? Can you ask him? Um... Can you ask anything? Like, anything and it, it, uh... To an extent, I can. Can you ask where the man is? I 
the key try. D100 plus three. Go ahead and do it. You're not there. I know, but no. <laughs> yeah. 47. Because of the way the magic works, it floods through you and into them. You do not receive the answer. They do. And you just trust that it went the proper direction. Holy shit. Siobhan gives you the information. That is the best I can do. Siobhan. Uh, Siobhan, yeah. I my religion. This, um, man you speak of. Hi. Can you tell us more? Maybe we might have heard something. Chances are we haven't, but, you know, who knows? Hi, uh, large man, devil, mm. large horns. Walking. I uh, I heard from someone <clears throat> that uh he was the one who uh gestures at the wound on the side of the oven. Right through my mother. <laughs> so it was hard to watch. Um I imagine it would be hard to watch. Roll me a deception check. Good. Good. What's the bin? <laughs> but, uh, just wanted to know who it was and maybe if they're still around. You know. You sure Ron knows it? I guess. It might have good things might come your way. So at least turn in. Yeah. Yeah. You all hear a loud grinding noise as Kothar is now dragging a bed over in front of the door. Oh. <clears throat> that must be them. It has one single wicker chair. <laughs> I have like five plus the stone pallet. Yeah, you just put it on top of the bed. <laughs> just Gabe summons blue cake as a puma. <laughs> oh, ain't that cutie? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Pets their head. <laughs> I like this little guy. He's a good one. How does blue cake take it? Oh, let me roll animal handling and find out. Beefcake's not a big fan of him. Uh, he went to scratch the ears, and for pumas, you're supposed to get, like, the top of the forehead or the chin as cats. Never their ears. They don't like Good that theory. shit. Beefcake, uh, don't eat him. I, oh, yeah, sorry. I, I didn't mean to uh, offend any of you. <sighs> Gabe shows him how to properly pet Beefcake. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. By the way, uh, here, uh, he hands you a uh, uh, a pouch that has five sections in it. Each one is filled with different spices. Hmm. So you can add a bit more flavor to your meals if you add a little bit of spice into it. <clears throat> yeah, it might help you out a little bit. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Sure, sure smells That's... good in here. It smells like <laughs> cayenne. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of that. There's also a bunch of dried basil leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry that I, that I forgot. But what did you? I'm just trying to remember what you said your last name. What you say was Hedgson? Hedgson. Yeah. Hedgson. What, yeah. You said you were traveling here, or do you live? Like, do you live? You don't live down here, do you? It doesn't. Look I mean, here. no, no. I don't really have a, a home per se. I, uh, I I traveled around a little bit. Um, I'm actually here um, on a uh, short vacation uh, from the yeah. Blades. Well, it's a personal vacation. I wanted to oh. come look by. That's all. You said for the Blades? Aye, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I am a, uh, <laughs> I'm low in on the totem pole, but, uh, even we get a couple of weeks every year, you know? Who do yeah. you, uh, who do you choose to, to worship? <sighs> you know, I know I'm a third of God. We don't exactly look the type, uh, uh, Sunite. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I know, yeah, I know you... my clothes are a little, like, I, I didn't want to ruin the nice clothes, and actually, I have a new armor set getting commissioned back home. Hey, it, it, I, I hear that. I hear that. Like you know, you pick some sort of thing that you like. You know, artistic almost. Like your cooking could be that. You know, I've thought about it quite a lot. Um, so long as you got love to cook it with, right? <laughs> putting you're putting your passion into something. Hey, that's right. That's right. Interesting. I, I don't interact with a lot of Blades of Light. Oh, that's understandable. So, not many people are a big fan of us, in all honesty. It's, it's not It's not that. I just don't run into them a lot. Hey. Different hey, you, you, you said Sunite, right? Hey. Not, not a bad choice. There's always beauty in something. I ain't there. <laughs> and saying this is someone who, you know, never looks the part for anything. Don't let that get to you. What are you talking about? You're slaying it. <laughs> nah, and, and looks at the hooves, like looks at other hooves, just, you know. And a fuck lot of times. them. You know, there's a lot of these pretentious fucking pricks around this area who are always saying, oh, you look different. Oh, it's fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, fuck them. They never know what true beauty actually is like in their lives. They just go day to day, brushing their hair and expecting everybody to fawn over them. But you get right down to it, you look inside of them, and they're shit. They're shit mm -hmm. people. Ugh. Yeah, and besides, I mean, like, all humans look alike anyway, so... Not really. I mean, there's barely distinguishing factors. And But you get my point. It, it, you know, between to me, there's a lot of beauty and diversity. Well, yeah, and humans are they're a prime oh, example of that as well. I mean, you know, some the of them are light, some of them are dark, and some of them have nice hair, red hair. I'm not a big fan of the blonde ones. Uh, <laughs> you know, personally, I just find it very uh, drab. You know. Mm -hmm. Well. That's true. Yeah, I feel like I've been running from ages. I feel like I'm in like, I think I'm in like the year like 665 or something. <laughs> oh, that would be really unfortunate, right? No, uh, time don't move that fast, buddy. Pat you on the back. No, we're running so quickly through through the woods and everything. Man, I'm glad you all are safe. Mm -hmm. Shit, is it really that bad out there? All right. Just to mind. Yeah. Uh, so just the woods are weird, you know? Just the woods are weird. All right. No worries. Um, right. Hey, everybody. Uh, take care of yourselves. Clean up once you're done. Uh, put out the fire if you can. I'll see you around. Take Where me. are you going? He uh, lifts up a very beautiful, ostentatious shield with the symbol of Sunite on it. Huh. Just said they're having a rough go about it. I think I'm going to help him out a little bit. I don't. It's. <laughs> You're not going to stop me. No. I. I listen. I. And. I had a. I had a hard enough time. If you could. Walking away from it. If. Myself. He was going to go. Let him go. But mm -hmm. there's. There's no point in. Going, it's not going to change it. It's not going to change it. And I promise you that. And if you say that you're working for the Blades of Light, you got bigger things ahead of you where yeah. you can really make a difference. Well, what's the point in doing making a difference in the future? There's right a now, they need it. There's a message to Gabriel. He didn't know about the fight before. Shut it. Uh, I just picture like the, the like the angry smile that your mom makes like when you're like you did something. Yeah. It just and is making that to to hedge right now. Um, I, 
I promise you, on, 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 on everything that I am, what's going out there is already, it's too far gone. Um, more than likely, and but, uh, they have, there's a, listen, let me stop you. I can't sit here and know something bad's happening and just let it happen. I can't. It's not in me. I was raised better than that. It's it's not about it's not about Listen, that. you're all great people. I appreciate you. And I'm happy you're concerned about me, but uh <laughs> I've gone through a lot worse than what this is. I'll be fine. You all take care of yourselves. Your shield's named Mirror, isn't it? Mirror? Oh, my shield is a shield that doesn't have a name. That's close. <clears throat> but it's fine. I'm good. No, uh, I... He's already walking it's... off. He's not stopping. Uh... I cast Charm Person. Uh, 16? Nope. I promise you, I, you're probably going to be really angry with me later for convincing you to stay. There's not a lot that I can tell you about why we all need you to. Kothar's going to whisper in N's ear, tell him to continue on with the day he was going to live without us being here. He never met us. That's not how Charm Person works. That's Damn modify it. I memory. Know. I don't know. Yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. Works. That's modify but, memory. Oh, I don't know <laughs> yeah. this. But I'm just saying. That's I, not the battle you were looking for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, you're probably going to be really, really angry with me later, but I promise you the best thing for you to do is to keep focused on what you were doing here before. All right, no problem. You know, um, I have a connection to a god as myself, and oh, isn't that beautiful? It is, and oh that's the wisdom that she's passed on to me. And so, you're here for a reason. It, it just seems wrong, you know. Like it uh... does. It it does. But sometimes there are bigger things out there. How about more garlic bread? I think we could all use a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, let's we'll go get some garlic yeah. bread. Yeah, 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 that's good. Mm, did someone say food? <laughs> <laughs> and walks up to Gabe and flicks him in the ear as they walk past. Is there a way I could plant the stone tablet in front of the door? Yeah, you drug it right over there. You're sitting there. Okay, yeah. Like, you're, cool. you're li lounging out on it right at the door. Okay, like that it would, like, keep the door shut. Oh, you want to, like, bar them all in there. Nothing wrong with that, especially if there's a fire. What's well, a hovel? It's wood. We can it too, right? <laughs> no, it's all stone. Everything's stone here. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Well, nothing will light on fire. Then it's fine. It's fine. We'll just smoke <laughs> ourselves out. Oh, yeah, let's have a uh, decent little meal, eh? <laughs> As you all continue having this meal... Enjoying the company of this individual that none of you know who he really is. Keep that in mind. None of you have an idea. He's a Duragar. Edge isn't a Duragar. I, I know I don't know who he is, but what I'm saying is I'm just making connections. Like, Kothar will be making connections because he doesn't know who he is, but he thinks he might be. Sunite, Hedge, Sin, Blades of Light. He has no idea. No idea. And it'll message Fulcrum. Did anything else happen while we were gone? Where someone told him something or something. Let's switch back. Um, talked about food flavors. Um, he was here in his youth. Um, yeah. Uh, his mother was murdered. Oh, um, North. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I laughed way too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, North, um, 
was able to answer a question for him about a hymn that he was looking for. Large guy, and I'll describe as was descript- described to me. And you just hit and just kind of like looks away. Oh, fuck. Anyway. That's Lucifer. Well, as you're all enjoying this meal for just a little bit of time, Fulcrum, you do hear in your ear, all things are as they should be. <sighs> good, good. And I think this is where we're going to end today's session. Players, thank you all very much for playing. Viewers, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic time and everybody enjoyed themselves. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to show your support by just hanging out with us and, you know, enjoying what we do. We will see you all next time.